Hi, my name is Johan and I'm on a mission to build a fast and accurate LEGO sorting machine. Today I want to talk about some prototypes for redirecting each LEGO into the right drawer of an IKEA shelf. The IKEA shelf has 10 drawers and the idea is that LEGOs would be falling down behind those drawers in a vertical space like this and then if we have identified which drawer they should go in, we can just open that flap like so and redirect Legos from the vertical falling into that specific box. And right now the servos are just controlled by a Raspberry Pi that I have here and a small Python program that allows me to just push a button and open any of these flaps. So this prototype is from 2017, before I got a CNC router. And you can see, see that the woodworking on these is a little bit rough because I cut these with a chop saw for the straight cuts and then the round uh, cutouts for the rotating parts I made with a handheld trim router. On the back side you can see the electronics. This is the Adafruit 16 channel 12 bit servo driver with an I2C interface. So that means we can drive all of these servos and more with only two data wires from the Raspberry Pi. So you can see the green and the white cable here is coming to give the signal. And the yellow one in this case is ground and the blue one is the supply voltage for the driver chip, which is 3.3 volt directly from the Raspberry. And the 5 volt power for the servos is provided on this bigger cable from a simple 5 volt 4 amp switching supply. In 2018 I got my Shapeoko and I started using Onshape to design parts and I had a lot of fun with that. So this new prototype is a little bit more accurate and also a little bit heavier. In 2020 I thought, well, if we're already going to be using a CNC router, maybe we can make the whole shelf from scratch. And so I designed a shelf sidewall that has the servos in it and the flaps would be back here and they would be activated with these push rods. And they're hard to see so I put these uh, tape flags on so you can see the servo action. I think this is a wonderful design for somebody who wants to spend a lot of time with a CNC router, but ultimately I decided we would need to simplify and reduce the number of moving pieces. So that brings us to my latest prototype, which is simplified quite a bit. It's a single piece of plywood on each side. This side has the servos, the other side it's just going to get a roller skate ball bearing to hold the other side of the flap in place. For installing the servo, we're going to start by adding rubber grommets to reduce the transfer of vibration and noise from the servo motor to the shelf. Then each of the rubber grommets is protected with a brass bushing so that the screws don't damage or squeeze the rubber parts. 